I'm Eleanor Thompson and I'm one of the lecturers in the School of Science and I am particularly interested in photosynthesis and that work has resulted in us getting a grant, getting some research money to fund solar panels in agriculture in Kent. So the campus is in the Garden of England and we have links with a big soft fruit farm here who are helping us experiment with some agrivoltaics and what that means is solar panels that are used in agriculture. So we did some research recently looking at the effect of transparent solar panels on plant growth and now we have this big grant to put solar panels in an actual farm setting. So we have a partnership with a solar panel company and with a farm and in particular we're looking at the effect of solar panels, transparent solar panels installed on glass houses or on polytunnels where we're growing soft fruit. So what you can see here is the solar yield, the electrical yield over the course of today um, on the glass house at the big fruit farm. So this is really addictive data that comes out of these remote loggers every day and we can do this on campus as well. So we have research students who are working on the project as well as the workers at the farm and they're looking at the effect of light on more experimental plants on campus as well as this commercial set of plants at the farm. So the reason for this project is that farms need to reduce their carbon footprint so they need to reduce the amount of fuel that they use and they want to get an electrical yield from solar panels so that they can run worker housing, irrigation, all of the automated systems that they have on farms. We're really interested in applying robotics more in farms so hopefully if you've got all of these solar panels installed at a farm you can use them for your uh, many many needs at the farm. And the thing that's different about this grant is we're using transparent solar panels over glass houses or over polytunnels or on walls of glass houses so we can see how you install them on structures that are already present so the farm doesn't have to buy a new glass house in order to have solar power on the farm. The University of Greenwich has a lot of plant growth expertise, crop expertise, um, and I kind of come in at the edge of this, at the photosynthesis side of things, so I'm really interested in the effect on plants of changing the conditions that they're grown in, but other people involved in the grant are really interested in the application of the solar panels um, and we have many members of staff who find this project useful and interesting because they want to apply post-harvest technology, use the power from solar panels on the farm to do chilling or processing of foods.